All right, guys. So I've decided that this week we're going to do a lot of top five videos because holiday season's coming up. A lot of people are looking for different types of earbuds, and we all know there are a ton out in the market, so it can be a little overwhelming. So today we're going to start with my top five active noise canceling true wireless earbuds. Now this is mainly based off noise canceling and not off audio quality, not off a lot of other features. These are specifically for people that need the best noise canceling out there. And every time I do these type of lists, I always get people that think that I'm leaving theirs off, that I'm missing something. So definitely just mention some of these in the comment section. I'm only doing a top five, although there was too many to leave off. So I am gonna have some honorable mentions right here at the end. And this whole week, all of the top five videos that we're going to do uh, are going to be sponsored by Phoenix Case. Again, I know a lot of people don't like watching ads in the middle of videos, but Phoenix Case is definitely been one of those supporters from the beginning, and it's these type of supporters that keep this channel going. So I'm going to run a quick ad right here, and then we're going to go right into the top five. Today's video is sponsored by Phoenix Case. Guys, it is that time of year where all of the newest phones are coming out. In fact, I have the Pixel 7 Pro, which is supposed to arrive today, which means I need to order a case for it. And over the last few years on all of my phones, I have been using Phoenix cases. I just prefer their minimal approach, even from the packaging to the actual case itself. In fact, I have the Pixel 6a here with the matte black case, and it doesn't add a lot of bulk to my phone. So it's protecting it from everyday use. I know that my camera lenses are protected. I know that I can sit my phone face down without getting the screen scratched up. And it also comes in some other colors. You have frosted black, frosted white, and their newest color, which is navy blue. And again, this is a case that I've been using for years, and that's why I can recommend it. And again, I'd like to thank Phoenix Case for sponsoring today's video. All right, so we're gonna start with number five on the list, and this is the Sennheiser Momentum 3 True Wireless Earbuds. Now, this isn't a cheap pair. Again, most times when you're getting top level noise canceling, you do have to pay quite a bit. And in this case, they do retail for $249, although right now they're actually on sale for $229. And I just feel like this is the most natural sounding earbud out of the ones on the list. It just has excellent range when it comes to your lows, mids, and highs and it has a lot of space. This is a wider sounding earbud. Again, mixing that with the natural sound, it's the closest thing to getting a studio sound with a pair that has active noise canceling. And the noise canceling, again, is very effective. Uh, it really kind of isolates you from your surroundings and the noise canceling doesn't affect the audio quality. And again, this is a solid choice. And Sennheiser is one of those brands that really focuses a lot on audio. So that's why I put the Sennheiser Momentum 3s in at number five. Now number four on the list was actually kind of a surprise because up until this point, they haven't had the best track record when it came to their earbuds. And this is the Google Pixel Buds Pro. Now this one normally retails for $199, but over the past couple of weeks, it's actually been on sale for $149. And at $149, you're getting some really good integration with Android devices. And since this recent update, they now have very, impressive bass. That was one of the complaints that I had when I did the initial review. Uh, it just lacked that bass boost option that they had in some of their other earbuds, but they have now added this and mixing that with the fact that these have really good noise canceling, even blocking out people talking, not just engine noises and lower tones. That's what makes this a very impressive pair, especially given its current price. So that's why I put the Google Pixel Buds Pro in at number four. Now moving over to number three on the list. Now this one's probably the most common out of all the ones we're gonna talk about. This is the Apple AirPods Pro. And the only reason they're not higher is I feel like they're very handicapped to where you're really only getting the most benefits out of them by using them with Apple devices. And I do think it is slightly overpriced. It is coming in retailing at 249, but it is actually on sale right now for 234. So not much of a discount, but at least it saves you a little bit. Now, like I said, I think to get the most out of these, you really do need to use these with like your iPhone or your iPad or your MacBook. Uh, this is going to give you the features like being able to share your audio with other earbuds that's using the same chip. Uh, it also has the spatial audio with head tracking. Uh, really, again, you can't use this on Android devices. 
But outside of those things that you're not getting to take advantage of, the noise canceling is fantastic. Uh, this pair has some of the best transparency that I've heard. You can easily hear your surroundings. Uh, it doesn't sound robotic. It doesn't sound digital. Uh, everything actually sounds fairly natural just hearing your surroundings. But again, the noise canceling is very, very good. And even though with its shortcomings and not really being able to work great with everything, uh, it's hard to look past this. And this is why I put these in at number three. Now, number two on the list, this is my personal favorite as far as my all-around earbud. Uh, this is the Sony WF-1000XM4s. Now, these were pricey at their initial price, and they still are. They, they retail for $279. Uh, but right now, and actually over the past couple of weeks, they've been on sale, and you can pick them up for $178. And I think at this current price tag, this is a steal. Uh, because I feel like Sony is giving you a lot of features and a lot of controls because I think they have one of the best apps out there. Uh, also, I think the noise canceling obviously is top notch. You Again, it's blocking out pretty much everything around you. Now, it does come with foam ear tips, which isn't my favorite, so I do use silicone ear tips. Uh, and that does cause me to lose a little bit on the noise canceling. So if you just want, again, the best noise canceling you can get out of these, make sure to use those foam ear tips. But the sound on these are dynamic. And um, because of the app, you can pretty much get these to sound how you want. They just respond very well to EQing. And mixing that with the fact that they have LDAC playback with a device that has LDAC support, which my phone does, I feel like I'm getting the most out of the audio quality by using the Sonys. And that's why I put these in at number two. Now, number one on the list, some people are definitely not gonna agree with this, depending on how you look at it, but just based off noise canceling alone, I think it is almost impossible to look past the Bose QuietComfort 2 true wireless earbuds. And the reason I say this is the noise canceling is the best. I mean, it blocks out people talking, it blocks out engine noises, it blocks out the TV, anything that you need to block out, I think the Bose is gonna do the best job at blocking all of that out. Now, I do have some gripes with this pair of earbuds still. They are missing key features. You don't have wireless charging, which I don't understand. And there's no high-end Bluetooth codex. So you're only getting AAC and SBC, which Apple is able to do this because of the way that they work within Apple's ecosystem and they're still getting the most out of their chips. But Bose shouldn't really be able to get away with this, especially with other ones having LDAC or Aptex or Aptex adaptive playback. Uh, so I do feel like that's missing, but again, the audio quality is still fantastic. It doesn't take anything away from that. And the noise canceling, again, is top notch. So the Bose QuietComfort 2 earbuds are definitely the number one pick when it comes to the best noise canceling you can get. Now, the honorable mentions that I wanted to throw in here, because again, there's so many out there that I didn't want to overlook. I feel like the Soundcore Liberty 4 is one of those that's kind of flying under the radar, mainly because, you know, it doesn't have that pro name attached attached to it, but it definitely has all of the pro features and the pro sound to come along with it. And the fact that you can pick them up for 149 bucks, that is easily a pair I'd recommend. The One More Evo, which is I think their flagship earbud, it does have LDAC support. It also has dual drivers. The noise canceling is excellent, even in windy environments. And being able to pick these up right now for $149 is also a steal. Now the next one I wanted to throw as an honorable mention is one of my favorite budget pairs. This is the Edifier W240TN. There's a lot of features to like here. The sound is absolutely incredible and the noise canceling is very good, especially for a pair that's under $100 uh, because right now they come in at $79 and I think this one is hard to overlook. Now the next one is another one that I think kind of flies under the radar, and that is the Flybuds C1 Pro. Now they normally retail for 129 bucks, but right now they're actually marked at 80 on Amazon. Uh, and I feel like their current price, this is definitely a steal. If you're looking to not spend over $100, the sound on these are excellent. The noise canceling is very, very effective. Again, another pair that does a good job against people talking. Uh, that's very rare. A lot of them are just good at blocking out lower tones. And the Flybud C1 Pro uh, takes it a step above that and is blocking out some higher frequencies as well. Now the last one on the list, and this is a pair that I never thought that I would say is undervalued, is the Beats Fit Pro. I think if you're in Apple's ecosystem, a lot of people just immediately think AirPods, AirPods Pro. And I think now the Beats lineup kind of gets overlooked. And I think the Beats Fit Pro, in my opinion, 
is Apple's best sounding earbud. Now noise canceling, I think it is definitely on par or it's very close to the AirPods Pro. I do feel like Apple handicapped this device by not giving it Qi wireless charging and it kind of pulled back on some features that it gives the AirPod Pros. And I think that's because they didn't want to take away from that being their top selling product. But if some of those features you don't really need and you want very good noise canceling and you want really good dynamic sound, I highly recommend the Beats Fit Pro. But guys, that wraps up my top five ANC plus a lot of other honorable mentions. And I think it's good to have these type of lists as a reference for people that aren't watching earbud videos all throughout the year. So thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.